Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here at DevOps talking to members of the Java community. I have Martin Verberg with me. Hey, Martin. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. What's your accent? Where are you from? Uh, I'm, well, it's a bit confusing. Born in Holland, raised in New Zealand, and now living in London, UK. Okay, excellent. So um, you are a member of the London Java community? That's correct, yep. How are things going there? Uh, very well. Uh, we have a really large, passionate user group there, about 3,500 members, and uh, we run events uh, almost every night of the week now. Oh, my goodness. Uh, everything from talks to hack sessions to informal pub meetups, um, it's incredibly vibrant. Uh, I, I now certainly no longer know everybody in the user group like I used to when I first helped start it five years ago, and uh, it's just wonderful to see, really. It's taken its own, own life. Wow, that's cool. And you're also a Java champion? Yeah, yes. um, very privileged and honored uh, to, to be one. Um, it was uh, a group of people I looked up to very early in my career when I was uh, younger, 15, sort of 14, 15 years ago. So. Um, yeah, a bit of a shock really when I was offered that last year, but uh, yeah, very nice to be part well of that deserved, group. Well deserved, well deserved, and you're a big part of uh, the Adopt a JSR program, yes? Yeah, yeah. so um, in London we complain a lot because we sit in a cold, damp city and, and sit in a pub and, and moan a lot. Um, and we were asked by the Java standards body to maybe stop complaining so much about the Java standards and, and actually help do something about them. So we started that program about two years ago. And we're really just trying to provide some developer, developer advocacy for Java standards coming in. So okay. a bit of technical due diligence and things like that early on in the process, as opposed to it being all too little and too Ap late. After the fact, yeah. right, excellent. So are you looking at any particular technologies now? Or are you looking at 8 and giving feedback? Or yeah, or so we've done a lot of work on, on Java 8. So we've done uh, a lot of hack days on Lambdas, for example. We had Brian Gertz actually fly over and work with us on that one. Um, the spec lead for uh, Date and Time is actually uh, a London Java user group member, Stephen Colburn. Nice. And a couple of other colleagues of ours, Richard Warburton and Jim Goff, helped him uh, finalize that. And uh, we're actually going to hold a, a one-day conference early next year for uh, Java 9 and specifically. Um, we're going to have all the sort of large players in OpenJDK. We're also going to invite the large users of Java in London, such as uh, Goldman Sachs, Credit Suisse, um, the National Health Service, the British government. Oh, nice. And uh, we're going to sort of uh, have the two sides talk to each other and see if we can uh, help guide where Java 9 should go from, from some feedback from consumers of Java. Wow, if I wanted to find out more about that, would that be out on LJC or? Um, it's on our Adopt Open JDK okay. um, group, which you can find on java.net. Okay. And uh, yeah, just sign up to the mailing list. We've got a few hundred people on there and uh, we're organizing it through there. Excellent, that's pretty exciting. So tell me about the sessions you've done here. So I did two sessions, one on the habits of highly effective teams and another one called The Bleeding Edge. And both are really stories from uh, myself and my team transitioning from this traditional large enterprise world into the exciting world of startups, <laughs> uh, which has been a, a heck of a roller coaster ride, uh, but well worth it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so the, the, the habits of effective teams is really um, talking about breaking down all the formal structures and communication barriers that you have in large enterprises. And um, I think at one point I ran into the camera and, and told all managers out there, if you make your developers sit in two-hour meetings, you suck, <laughs> and don't do that. Um, Subtle. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. the engineers are, in my mind, far too valuable, and their, their creative right. powers should be used to make stuff, not sit in meetings and doodle on a piece of paper. That's so, a good point. Yeah. So give us a tip about an effective team. What have you found at your startup? Um, well, uh, I guess a practical thing, because I guess we're talking to an engineering audience here, yes. is... Um, take away manual tasks and make everything automated. Mm. So that goes right from you know deploying your code to QA environments to production. So use the, all the DevOps tools such as Chef, Puppet, Vagrant, and the list goes on and on. But also apply that to the rest of your daily life in your company. So don't fill out time sheets manually. Don't fill out expense claims manually. Use something like Expensify where you just take a photo of the receipt and send it on in. Um, any task that you do that's not part of the core task of creating cool, cool software, um, automate that away, and uh, yeah, you'll be a lot less frustrated. Minimize your time on the external stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There are lots of great services out there to help you now. So what's at the bleeding edge? Oh, the bleeding edge for us uh, is actually uh, a bit of a move away from a lot of the Java EE traditional stack. Um, mm -hmm. Our core product, uh, so I'm the CEO of J Clarity. We okay. do uh, performance tooling, uh, and we, it's a hosted service on the cloud. So you've got this really uh, massively distributed service. 
um, which has to be sort of asynchronous message based. So we have messages that get pushed from our, from client machines that run our little daemons back to our hosted service. And we couldn't do things like run a Java EE server on our little cl on our clients' machines, right? So that 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 whole stack is just unusable in this space. So right. we're using a technology called Vertex, which mm -hmm. is uh, a Java JVM based um, sort of messaging. Uh, I guess you could call it Node.js on steroids for for the JVM. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, and that's working really well for us. And sort of the usual suspects on the front end, so uh, HTML5, Angular JS, that sort of thing, and. Uh, I mocked it quite a bit in our talk yesterday, the bleeding edge, do, do take a look, but uh, we are actually using MongoDB as a backend. Okay. Um, we're still very much 50-50 on MongoDB. It <laughs> has let us down on a num number of occasions, but oh, um, we're, we're hoping it improves. Well, that's life on the bleeding edge, it right? It certainly yeah. is, yeah. 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 You live and learn. Well, great, thanks for coming by. I no, really appreciate a taking a moment to talk to us, and if you want to learn more, find out about the LJC on java.net, or check out Jay Clarity. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. All right, bye Martin. Bye-bye.